Hey you guys, Haley D here, um, Haley D Love, sorry, I always forget to add that ending, and I just felt like getting on here and talking, so, and yes I said talking, not talking, but anyways, um, I wanted to talk a little bit about as a college student, you know, we come into a lot of different situations trying to figure out who we are. And majority of the times we try to define ourselves, especially when starting in a like freshman year, we try to define ourselves by the groups that we're in. That's just what we do as humans. When we are in a new situation, we tend to look for those that are similar to us and that define us and that, you know, really resembles who we think we are. Excuse me. It's you! It's you! Oh, okay, excuse me. Um, and sometimes that works you know sometimes we find groups that really just um re we just hit it off and we can and if you're blessed to be to find that group that you can stick with until you graduate that's awesome but usually for a lot of us college students we don't we taste test or what I like to call it. We try to figure out, we say, we see if this is the group for us, if this isn't the group for us, does this organization fit me Does besides my schedule? You know, as a college student, you always have to, you know, you have to find what fits in your schedule and what doesn't. But that's a majority of the times that that's what we seek our first two years. Um, and the same was for me. When I got into college, I, um, I, for one, I was just in awe at the, at the thought of me being in college, you know, um, my mom did go to college, um, my dad didn't, and so, and I'm really, in my intermediate family, I am the first to go to tr a traditional college and finish, so, to me, it was huge. It was a huge ordeal. I was like, man, I'm here. Oh, what can I get into? Blah, blah, blah. Now, coming to a predominantly white college, usually what a lot of the black students do when they get here is they look for the black community. And that's what I did. Um, there is this great conference um, built for uh, for the purpose of diversity called the Excel Conference and it was great. Um, I met a lot of different people and uh, it was an interesting um, experience. But the one thing that I learned is that you should figure out what works for you. Plain and simple. And I know it's kind of, sometimes it's hard, especially it's your first time getting away from um, your parents, you know, it's your first time doing a lot of things on your own. It's a lot of responsibility pretty much thrown on you. You know, um, if you're not used to having responsibilities at home and it's a lot of decision making things that you have to deal with. And so, you know, it's all of that compiled into one. You want to find a group of people that you can rely on, you know, who you can talk to, all of that wonderful stuff all the wonderfulness and for me personally um, I've never been the type to just go for um, uh, I guess the black groups that's not that you know I have to be honest with myself and the thing is a really important thing to remember is this if that wasn't who you were um, in high school, chances are that's not who you are in college. Now, granted, college is a time to learn yourself, to really understand who you are and all that kind of stuff. And I have, you know, there is nothing wrong with hanging out with your own community. 
I have gone to many events and you know I enjoy myself I met wonderful great people I'm not downing the black community at all um, I'm just saying that it's okay to be okay with that not being it for you that not being you know the end all be all for you and that's not even just I'm not just speaking to black students I'm speaking to college students in general you know I believe that it's best for you to find your group of friends the people that fit for you and they might not even be your same color they might not be um the same place financially as you y'all probably will come from two different places like I know coming to a school that I go to you meet so many different people and that's the great part about it. I mean people from out of state out of country you meet so many people and I just feel like it's worth you actually really diving into like college is a great time to not only learn about yourself but learn about the world around you and it is it's important for you to actually jump into that and you know enjoy yourself like I did the whole party thing I went to parties the whole alcohol thing tried that <laughs> you know I did different things I tried it out um now at the same time you have to be honest with the things that you can take like can you handle it because at the same time while all of this taste testing that you're doing with different situations in college while that's happening you have to remember that you're still an adult and because you're still an adult that means that you know you need to be smart about what you do you need to be smart with who you hang out with me personally you know I've done my share of stupid things like and glory be to God you know right hand to the big man you know I nothing happened I'm still here but what I'm saying is you have to think you have to be smart because even though in your head you're like man I'm just I'm still a kid nah man like you're an adult <laughs> you you are responsible for yourself and responsible for whatever it is that is in your grasp and that means learning being responsible for what you're learning being responsible for your growth and being responsible for the decisions that you make I mean you can't blame mom and daddy anymore because you know I mean I know for my mom like when I she was always supportive she was always there just a call away but you know my freshman year we had our little new student conference thing and she was like Mahalia you are here on your own now you need to start being get used to making your own decisions decide on where you need to go decide on what works for you so I think that's the biggest thing um, you know and have fun like and your definition of fun doesn't necessarily have to be everyone else's definition like every everybody thinks that because you're in college that means that you need to always be you know either high or be drunk go to parties look I'm a goofy person I don't need a lot to make me laugh I will laugh at looking at a hole in the wall and I will just crack up and probably crack up hours after that so it's like you know I guess what I'm saying is don't be afraid to learn who you are and then don't be afraid to be that person it is okay to be you to be who you are at the moment and not trying to be too grown or whatever like like dude you are chances are you're over 18 and for the ones that are younger than 18 and you know made to college whoop whoop I wasn't you but I mean hey you did it Woo. but you know enjoy yourself enjoy where you are enjoy the lessons that you learned I know for me I love the fact when I found out that there was a gospel choir here like they sold me and I stayed in it until my senior year I'm still in it I'm not um, granted it's not the priority for me anymore because you know graduation is it but um, 
it's very important to me. I met so many people that I still talk to that have made a lot, of, have influenced my life greatly, and they probably don't even know it. But I have memories that I love. And I was in the choir, and that was it. I wasn't in a sorority. I wasn't in like a huge, massive organization. I were, I was in a lot of different organizations trying to taste test, like I said, the different things that could define myself. But, you know, I'm, I'm, ain't nothing wrong with staying in your lane. There's nothing wrong with staying in your lane, loving your lane. Now, granted, Sometimes you have to push yourself outside of your lane to grow. But I'm speaking if, as far as if you're doing it for unhealthy reasons, if you're doing it just to fit in, it's not worth it. And it's definitely not worth trying to be something that you're not. When you know that, when you know that ain't who you are, you know when you get around a group of people and it's just awkward, like it's just not who you are, that's just not what you're, you're not supposed to be there. And you know, you even asking yourself while you're sitting there awkwardly in that corner, really not talking to anybody, why am I here? What's the point? Why did I even do this to myself? Like... After you taste test, it tastes nasty, spit it out. Go somewhere else. Do something new. If you go to a big university like I do, there are thousands of organizations. And if there isn't one, you know, be be a boss about it and create it. You know, I, it, I just feel like it's so much that you can gain from being in college that you will never even imagine if you don't open up talk to people get to know them you know and you never know there might be a reason why god wants you to be in that circle right then it might not be meant for you to be there till you graduate but god has his reasons and of course you know at the end of the day i'm always going to end it with god you know you never know what his purpose is for you you never know why he has you there you never know you don't know and that's the great thing about it and it's okay not to know it's perfectly fine with not knowing and still going with the flow. So enjoy college life. Enjoy the lessons. Learn from the lessons. Know what works for you. Know what doesn't. And get a job because I don't like being broke. Many people that know me know that I don't. And so I, I, I definitely am all for if you can handle the job and school like for me I was the person that I did when I did get a job I did did the jobs I did the organization and I did the school work sometimes some semesters weren't as best as they should have been but you know at the end of the day it's all a lesson so um yeah that's it um I'm working on my blog more. I'm updating things before I present it to people because I want stuff to be actually on there. Um, and yeah, you guys just pray for me as I pray for you. Let me know if there's anything that you want me to talk about or pray about, whatever the case is. Please let me know. And God bless. Bye. The pride.